Now, speaking about difficult situations, why? Our friend Atieno, why, why? I, I think he's asking himself that exact question. Why, why? Because, damn, this man saw um, a couple going through something. Mm -hmm. They were living in a mud hut, like a mud house. The elements were constantly against them. You know, unfortunately, mud houses, like there's always something going on with those houses. It's, it's, it's just a lot. Mm -hmm. So he saw these, uh, these two people, this particular couple, and they were going through like a really tough situation. But the most important thing is that they didn't have proper housing. Mm -hmm. So who is YY? YY elected himself, stopped all his other construction projects, and came down to Gishagi. And he was going to stay there until the construction was completed. Which he did. The couple, they went viral because they sell, sold the roof of their house to pay for, I think, medical bills. It was such a moving story. Okay, before so he moved we get in. there. Before we get there. Mm -hmm. So then YY, uh, oh, they were on TV with yeah. a whole uh, really sad story. And YY then moved in and he's like, let me help these people out. But little did he know that he was now going to be featured on TV having not... Um, accomplished what the couple intended for him to accomplish. So the guy stayed over. He, he tried to get professionals to the job. Uh, they were like, now nah, we're just going to get our, our local fundies to do the job. He's like, all right, do what you got to do as long mm -hmm. as the house is completed. And the construction started. There were lots of dramas with the fundies. But as, 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 as all local fundies are like, let me tell you, local fundies, you, you, I, hey, whew. Did the job, job was done. Uh, the house, I think we have pictures of the house. Please pull up the pictures of the house which YY ended up constructing for this beautiful couple. Mm -hmm. They'll come up in a little bit. It's a really nice, decent house, very three white, bedroom. three bedroom. It looks really spacious and very stable in comparison to what they had, which is a mud hut. They need to be grateful, even if you build them a shack with just mabatis. That was still a step in the right direction for them, considering where they were. Mm -hmm. But who are these people? They're like, no. Mr. Willie and his wife decided to come out and say that, first of all, he didn't build them the house that they wanted. They wanted a bigger house. They wanted the structure to look a little more different. They wanted, they wanted, they wanted, they wanted. And why, why is just looking at them like, are you guys serious? Are you, are you really serious? And he actually did um, put a quote out saying, um, I am surprised that this is their story on TV. Mm -hmm. They never mentioned the Masons, who are obviously the builders, but instead chose to blame me. They say that they did not get a large enough structure um, as what they had agreed on. And later on, they literally just blamed him, saying that, you know, he didn't do much. And they, they hate the fact that he didn't do what they expected him to do. But again, I hope you can pull up. Please pull up the pictures of the house he built for them. It is such a nice house, a very nice structure. It's full on white with a really, really steady roof. I'm telling you, this house looks amazing. If I got this house for free out of someone else's pocket, mm. me, I would be kissing the ground this man walks on. But no, not Rosalind and not Willie. So I think YY is telling us that he's learned his lesson. He's never going to be involved in anyone's business. Look at that house. That house is really nice. Like, imagine someone building that house for you for free. And you were in a mud hut And before. you were in a mud hut prior With to no this. Roof. Like, I'm just having sold your roof to take care of medical bills, as Turi has so well explained. I'm just like, jo jo Jocelyn, and I mean, it's Rosalind, sir, mm. uh, and your husband, really, y'all need to get yourself together because this is disrespectful. And this is why people don't start getting involved. Akode did the same thing. What happened? The man just up and came over and started saying, oh, she's not giving me the money that I wanted. She's not taking care of me the way that I... I'm like, so I took you in to my own damn house. I built you a house. And now you're out here calling my name in the, in the, in the same lines as deadbeat and not helpful enough. Like, this is why people don't help. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say it. This is why people don't help. I learned my lesson very early on mm. because there's a time I hosted somebody. They had come from Ushago. They've come to Nairobi to like, you know, like I think it was for a job or something or an interview or something. So I hosted this person in my house for a week. Okay. My house is not huge. Mm -hmm. It is me and my family plus this person. Mm -hmm. And then while they were leaving to go back to the village, I even s I I give this person fair. I give this person a small amount of money. And then he, he upped and went. Let me tell you, this person calls me like a few minutes later. I, and I thought, you know, I saw the call and I was like, okay, that's weird. Call me mm -hmm. So I pick up the call and I'm like, hey, Sasa, what's up? And then he says, 
Yaani hata huwezi nipatia pesa ya lunch unajua niko nanja I'm like what ama ama your parent ama your mother ama your auntie you know it's not even a relative it's those people you grew up you knew each other ukaambiwa ni say kuna mtu kuna mtu wetu akoko Nairobi ataku host a few weeks maybe one week ukae na yeye utafute kazi alafu urudi nyumbani so this person turns around and he's so ungrateful you know i didn't have to give you fair mm-hmm. you know you could have just come done your thing and gone back mm-hmm. you know and i gave you small small money you know that is so soon to me and pesa so do you top up i'm like hey hey the god have you ever helped someone and then they turn around instead of saying thank you they say you know you could have done something different oh my God. you could have added more money wewe hauna shida ya pesa si tunakuwa na kwa tv bora unipatie pesa kidogo let me tell you something let me Listen, just be grateful. If somebody does something for you, just be grateful and move on. Yeah. You know, it's it's bad. It's horrible behavior from you people. But I think it, it, as a person who has been that person who's like by this you woke na pesa unitumie. Kwa nini unalilia pesa kidogo hivi? As that person, I also kind of see the other side of the conversation. But 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 we will not be getting into that for now. <laughs> we will keep that for another day because whoa, it's a lot. It's a lot.